Hi guys, I showed you this USB fan from Poundland in one of my videos a while ago. In fact, I had a pair of them. This one has decided to die. Now I have already taken it apart and I then decided you might be interested. So the end does just lever off, but I have already disconnected the wires. So that isn't the fault, <laughs> the fact that it's got loose wires. The fault, and I've actually marked one of these so it's easy to demonstrate. I'll just use an external battery. One up to one side. Okay, works. Doesn't work. Works. 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 If we have that one around about there somewhere. Oh, there we are. Doesn't work. So, yeah, doesn't work. Turn it a little bit. Clearly, it's either one of the commutators is uh, faulty, one of the um, arms or legs on the commutator, or one of the coils is either burnt out or disconnected from the commutator. So we turn it just far enough for the commutator to make contact or the relevant coil to make contact. It's happy. It actually feels quite um, unbalanced as it's going. It's a bit of vibration that I can feel. But as long as that um, arm is over here somewhere, it won't start. Over there, it's all right. Over here, it won't start. Go back a little bit. And you can see it's just driving it on to the bit where it won't start. So, we'll have a look inside, see if we can see if it's fixable. If it's actually one of the windings is burnt out, then it is fixable. You could rewind it, but it's probably not worth the effort. But if it's just the soldering's come off on the commutator or something like that, we might be able to fix it. I'm just going to zoom in, which probably means we'll lose focus, but we'll see how we get on. All right, are we ready for the big reveal? Uh, I'll just move the lights. Well, <laughs> that's pretty black and horrible in there. So something's gone wrong, is not it? That does look like it's overheated. Just went and got a bit of white paper so we can put it underneath. Tap that out, see if we can see what it is. Well, that looks like a bit of one of the commutator uh, bushes. Yeah, the brushes themselves look okay. expect commutator to look like that. That 
doesn't look very happy. I think it's just overheated somehow. But that bit of metal just there has come off of just there. There's no bit of metal there. In focus. I can't tell. I think we're just out of focus, aren't we? Yeah, there's no commutator, no brass, just there. If I turn it round a little bit, there is brass there. Oh, there was. I've just pushed it off, I think. Yeah, so another piece has just fallen off. So, um, not repairable, or not easily repairable. You could go and pinch the commutator bits off of another motor, but it's really not worth it. If you're going to make that much effort, you might just well swap the motor. I've never seen one go like that before. And I wasn't expecting it when I opened it. But that is coming apart. So, um, yeah, we're not going to be repairing that. It's just not worth the effort. Better focus down there, just that little bit further away. If I hold it there, it's in focus now, isn't that in the important bit? So we can see a very damaged commutator there and as we turn it round it's completely disappeared all the way around there because I just pushed some of it off anyway and then that bit's the only bit that's left there's normally three of them on this sort of motor three bits of brass sticking out this way that line up with these three solder points. Come on, light. And we're out of focus. Missing there, but damaged. Missing, missing. So two out of the three have gone. I think only one had gone originally, but I've just been poking it with that screwdriver and that's knocked the other one off. So, shame. The brushes, actually look from here look okay so that might be worth saving for one that's had the brushes melted just pop that out there 
actually, they, they actually look okay in the big scheme of things. Oh, I don't know, no, I can see holes in that one. Yeah. So they've melted through or worn through. So even the brushes aren't worth saving. Yeah, oh well. There you go, you've had a look inside a cheap DC motor that's been running on 5 volts from a USB supply and failed. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.